Hello again, Sarah Gerber from Courtyard Chiropractic Health Center. We're continuing that conversation on foot health. We wanna look at ankle mobility. If you have knee pain or hip pain, or ankle pain, we wanna always look above and below the joint in question to make sure that we are very stable. We wanna make sure that, you know, as you're walking through the world, that your feet are supporting you well. So first, very simply, we're gonna take a look at things that you can do. Um, we, pref we recommend starting your day and perhaps ending your day and even warming up for a workout by doing some ankle and foot mobility. So we'll just take a look here. We're going to imagine if you were to either be on the floor on a yoga mat or say your feet are hanging off the end of your bed at the end of your day or at the beginning, you want to be sort of taking a look at different ways that you can just move your ankle around, you can do circles, just simple ranges of motion. There might be some clips and pops and things like that. That is all fine. And what you can imagine is perhaps that you want to imagine plucking a Kleenex out of a Kleenex box and coming all the way back up. Some people's feet tend to cramp at this point, so it's okay if that happens, just shake it off and maybe consider uh, magnesium as a supplement because that really helps with muscle function, both relaxation as well as full contraction. So then we wanna take a look at taking care of the ankle joint, but not only that, the peroneal muscles that uh, come on either side of the shin that really help to stabilize into the knee. And you're just gonna bring your foot side to side slowly as your foot is flexed with your toes towards your nose about 10 times each way for both of your feet. You can also do this with a resistance band kind of wrapped around the ball of your foot and your toes. I don't have one handy. That would be a progression that you might want to add in. If you are finding that you have knee issues, you can take a look at our uh, pelvic stability hip hiker video that we've done. One really great way to help all the things we're talking about is using what we use as an alpha tune-up ball. You want something that has some a little bit of give, not like a lacrosse ball, but something that doesn't give too easily, like a tennis ball. And you can find some really icky spots, <laughs> some sore spots. If it's not too bad, you can use the weight of your other leg on top. And really what you can do is you can, of course, roll back and forth, but one really super way very effective once you have a spot that's hurting is you can just go back and forth with your foot and it actually threads it kind of strips the muscle a little bit you want to make sure that you're not going too intensely you don't want to be also please make sure that you're not aggravating any bruises any swollen or injured um, tendons ligaments muscles or joints. You don't want to get too, too close to the joint with this. You can just work all the way down, even to the Achilles tendon, and sort of get into that. It's a good, good exercise of some stability as well. You're using your core muscles to keep yourself still as you're doing things like this. We'll see you next time.